the FB60 transaction is used to create a miscellaneous pay invoice. This procedure is used to manually create an invoice in GFIBS that is not subject to the Prompt Payment Act. This transaction generally does not require a good receipt and penalties and interest are not applicable. Now we will demonstrate how to create an invoice in GFIBS. Type transaction code FB60 in the command field and press enter. Ensure the transaction field shows invoice. Enter LKING5 in the vendor field. Tab over to invoice receipt date and enter today's date. For this example we will use January 12, 2018. Note, the invoice receipt date specifies the date the invoice was received in your office. Tab over to the invoice date and enter the invoice date. Note, the invoice date specifies the issue date of the original document. Tab over to the reference field and enter the invoice number EL-LKING. Tab over to the document type field and select MP Miscellaneous Pay FM. Tab over to the amount field and enter 1750.00. Tab over to the text field and enter a short description. Enter emergency leave Lenny King. Select the vertical scroll bar to scroll down. Place a check in the checkbox in the exclude invoice from PPA calculations box. Select the folder icon and select Notes. Note, text field is displayed. Enter a longer description if necessary. In this instance, enter emergency leave for Lenny King. Select the folder icon and select Basic Data tab. Enter 6100.260B under the GL account field. Note, this is your commitment item element of resource. Tab over on the amount in document currency and enter 1750.00. Use the horizontal scroll bar to find the earmarked fund field. Enter the FMZ document number 500-001-1260 in the earmarked fund field and press enter. Select the simulate button on the menu bar. Note, informational message in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, stating account assignment proposed from document 500-001-1260-001. Select the post button on the menu bar to save your document. Note, your invoice number is populated in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. You have successfully completed this transaction.